Oh, hey there. My name is Jonah Okudo, multimedia producer, eligible bachelor, and film bro of your dreams at The Chronicle. 2020 was a lonely year. COVID interrupted our love lives, stopped us from dating, and many of us have become more familiar with our hands than we're comfortable with. And so, to give back to our audience on this Valentine's Day, we took it upon ourselves at the Chronicle to usher in your 2021 with a little bit of romance. So sit back, relax, and join us as we find out who here is the most compatible. You're watching The Dating Game. Our first guest of the night, a member of the Student Athletics eBoard, described himself as loud, proud, and active. He's a TV writing and producing major, and he's looking for something fun. Let's welcome Peyton Jay. I, I feel blessed. This is an opportunity. Our second guest, a talented artist and communications and marketing major, said they're also just looking for fun. They said they're calm, mysterious, and indecisive, so let's welcome Jude Ramirez. I'm doing well. How are you tonight? I'm just phenomenal. Now, Jude, of course, I have to ask, you know, what is the most embarrassed you've ever been on a date? I have a reaction where I puke, and I have I puked on many dates, and like, wow. in front of them, too. Our final guest, surprisingly, has managed to find someone to care for over quarantine, having recently adopted a dog named Franny. <laughs> She described herself as empathetic, patient, and fun. Let's welcome Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, how are you doing? I'm feeling really good, Jonah. Now, our bachelorette has been sitting patiently outside of this call, so she wouldn't hear any information about our three guests. She has no idea what they look like, who they are, and they have absolutely no idea who she is or what she looks like. She is a musical theater major, and she is not afraid to show it. She said she's spunky, she's sassy, she's into astrology, crystals, and everything else I fear. Let's go ahead and welcome Maisie, our bachelorette. Maisie, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Now, Maisie, you gotta tell us, what is your sign? I'm actually an Aries Pisces cusp, so I'm the uh, very first day of Aries, so I still have that Pisces in me. How would you sum up your personality? Probably a little reserved at first, but once I get to know you, definitely very loud, energetic. Now, Maisie has put together a series of questions to ask our guests, but before we start, I'd like all of our guests to say good evening. Good evening, Maisie. Good evening, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Now have some fun, pay careful attention to their answers, and I wish you best of luck. Let's get to it. Guest number one, if we were on a walk and we approached a super large puddle or a sheet of ice, what would you do? Ooh. I like that one. I want to say I'd go probably full full old school romance movie if I've got a jacket and it's a little cold out. Lay it out. Love it. Exactly what I was hoping for. Guess number two, if you were to plan the perfect night together, how would it go? I would think it'd be fun to have like a night picnic. Um, definitely not in the winter time, but uh, <laughs> it'd be fun to eat our sandwiches or whatever type of food we get under the stars perfect i love that guess number three same question i would probably cook something for you obviously i know people have dietary restrictions i do so i would like to know what those are for you ahead of time guess number one how do you keep chivalry alive simple open every door car door we're talking restaurant doors we're talking home doors guess number two if for some reason my breath was super stinky, how would you let me know? I am an avid gum chewer, so I would just offer you a piece of gum. I always have gum <laughs> on me, so I'd just be like, hey, you want one? Love it, perfectly low key. Uh, guess number one, what's your favorite thing to see in the morning? I love the skyline with my entire being. I love coming. I, Guest number two, what's your idea of a silly or fun date? Binge watching our favorite childhood cartoons while Ooh. shoving pizza in our face. Guest number three, how does your major give you an edge in relationships? I am a photojournalism major. So I have a creative side, but also this like communicative and analytical side as well. So I think that's kind of an interesting balance. 
I love that. Well, guest number one, what animal would you compare yourself to in bed? What a doozy. The one part of me wants to say like, beautiful, majestic eagle. I wanna say that. I can't give you that as an honest answer though. I'll be, I'll be truly, truly transparent. Um, we go with an octopus. I wanna go with an octopus. You know, versatile, all over the place, but contained and cohesive all at once. Interesting answer. <laughs> I like where you went with that. Major, why don't we ask that one to our other two contestants as well? I'm kind of interested. Yeah, me too. Guess number two? A chameleon. Hmm. You want to laugh <laughs> on that guess number two, or you just kind of want to throw that out? I like to switch it up like the chameleons do with their colors. Um, guess number three? I would probably say like an otter. I think an otter, like, they're pretty, um, romantic with their gestures. Guest number one, if you forgot my birthday, how would you try to make up for it? I, I will overwhelm you with the amount of gifts I can, but I hopefully over time would learn that you adore and love oh so much. Epic, that's a good answer. <laughs> Guest number two, where is the best place to go in the South Loop for a date? Shed Aquarium. <laughs> they have an anaconda that's like 40 feet long and it's stuck in like a 20 foot cage. Oh, It's really sad, but besides that, the Shed Aquarium is very fun. Guest number three, how would you describe yourself in a relationship? I'll go ahead and tell you that um, my Venus is in Cancer. So I'm sure you might know kind of maybe what that's all about. Um, but I'm- mix between like I love love so much but then the other half of me is like we need to be realistic. Guess number two how would you make a date over zoom something extra special? I would figure out what your favorite restaurant is and then door dash that to you and then I'll have my own meal and we could like have our meals over zoom. Same question guess number three. I think it would be really fun to either cook a meal at the same time or do like a Postmate DoorDash type situation. All right, well, that was your last question, right, Maisie? Yes, it was. Okay, great. Do you feel like you have your answer? I do. All right, wonderful. Who do you feel you're most compatible with? I think I'm most compatible with guest number three. Why? Why guest number three? What drew you to them? I just feel a little naturally drawn to um, their answers. Just something about it um, just intrigues me. Of course, we have to reveal to you who our guests are. Guest number one, go ahead and turn on your camera on Zoom if you feel like you can. My name is Peyton J. And shocking reveal, I shouldn't be surprised. I think I've matched with Maisie on Hinge, Tinder, and Bumble. And not surprised at the outcome of this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. Let's move on to guest two. Guest two, go ahead and turn on your camera. Show us what you look like. So my name is Jude, and I actually live in San Francisco. I'm moving to what? Chicago in May. So wow. I did this to make some friends. Do you feel like yeah. you made a friend today? Yes, I did. I want all of your guys' social medias. And then, of course, we have to reveal our winner, guest number three. Turn on your camera, show you, show us who you are, and say hello. I'm so excited. Yeah, it was so fun. Maisie, what would you say it was a, a, about Olivia's personality that was the biggest draw? Did you like that in a romantic? I definitely liked the astrology and the idea of like cooking dinner at the same time. Like even if we were over Zoom, that's something we're still doing together. How has dating been for you two throughout COVID? Has it been tricky? Have you been dating? I, was dating last year and it got a little tricky so then I kind of just took a lot of time for myself. I've got a shocker for you guys. I've been single for like three years. So, so it's like really working hard on myself and making sure that I have like good boundaries and good 
values and morals set up for myself so I know once I make that big move then I can kind of balance it a little bit better it's not so hectic or frustrating for me well that's amazing you guys again you have that in common you took some time for yourself figuring stuff out and it's working out all right thank you so much have a good one bye take it easy